Hello and welcome to Simon Says Artwork. In this video I'm going to be doing the 23rd instalment of the Inktober Challenge, still working with my left hand and for the last week what I've decided to do is to work from reference as opposed to drawing from imagination. So up until now every drawing I've done has had no photo reference at all or, or visual reference at all and I thought for the next seven days I'll do some references in the last day of the month I'll draw with both hands simultaneously. I'm currently at a friend's house. She's the one who does these beautiful paintings. I'm looking after a gorgeous little cat named Mona. And she feels like she's uh, my daughter as well because I'm the one who got her adopted by my friend. And um, I've been looking after her, which has been an absolute joy. So I did the drawing here at her house. And um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so on to this 23rd instalment and it turns out that drawing from reference is really a bit of a game changer when it comes to drawing from my left hand because I have something to focus on and that really helped because it was just something where you could be guided by the shapes and the textures instead of trying to conjure everything from nowhere and it's an obvious thing now that I'm saying it but I really enjoy drawing from imagination and I forgot how much easier it is to have a reference to guide your uh, marks and I quite enjoyed this this turns out being um, something where I uh, I kind of just let the let the feel of the drawing dictate how accurate it was and what I mean is that certain coverage was a lot denser with leaves and little spindly branches than what I could possibly achieve. And I didn't really want to get photo accuracy. It's never really the goal. What I like to do is get a general sense of the subject and something which serves the drawing first, really. I think that sometimes when I push for accuracy, I lose the quality of the drawing and it doesn't quite look as good as I was hoping it would. And it's because I was really pushing for what something actually looked like. Now, I use the um, Unipin fine liner, which I absolutely love as a brush pen. Very similar to the Fudenosuke Tombow brush pen that I've been using recently where it's a flexible nib and just great fun just a really good fun pen to draw with and doodle with and um, yeah it was just very familiar to me to use this pen it is slightly different in subtle ways I think it's the nib is slightly less um, soft and flexible so I'm used to doing the wispier lines with it and it was fun. That way you can have the darker lines and then the, the lighter ones up in the top left. And you can see the variance, um, or the variation I should say, just from the marks that I've made so far. Really enjoyable to use and to study. I've never drawn an apple tree before. There's lots of things I've never even attempted to draw yet, to be honest. I'm very early on in my art journey, I feel. And... A lot of the uh, questions that I have are quite ignorant questions because I was really hoping to get a full education in school and was hungry for that knowledge. And they didn't really deliver that at all. So what I was looking for is still something which I am seeking out. But I do feel as though a lot of people that I've met are just winging it and they are happy to know what they know and to roll with that whereas I'm not really satisfied with knowing as little as I do and I know enough to know that I don't know enough which is good that's somewhere to get to and I know that sounds like a nonsense statement but trust me it's a true statement and it's one which is worth attaining where you 
you've learned enough to know that there's so much more to learn um, is a really good place to be. But I know that just from experience anyway. And it's a lot of it can be art history, but it's also just the knowledge of certain um, experiences which you gain from putting in the work. And drawing an apple tree is part of me putting in the work. Learning to draw with my left hand is putting in some work. And things like that I really value. And uh, I recommend if anyone is up for a challenge and wants to learn things about themselves but also about the world and about drawing then both drawing things which you've never considered like an apple tree or maybe you have but if you have considered an apple tree then maybe you haven't considered a motorbike or you know whatever the opposite is the thing which you've never considered drawing just try to draw it just because it's uh, it's going to be something which will deliver knowledge and results that you can measure where unless of course you know you're you're just one of those people who doesn't who just closes off any of those lessons but to me I always think that there are so many things to learn from these types of experiences so I really appreciated it that's as far as I got and I think it's a really nice installment to the challenge Okay, so that's the drawing done. Now, I quite like the fact that certain areas were more finished than others. There was bits of unfinished drawing, which I thought was quite nice looking. And I might do that again in the future to leave certain parts just completely um, line work only and other parts shaded and more finished because I thought that looked quite cool. Um, And it was nice to have a, a subject to study as opposed to trying to conjure something from my imagination. Now, I'll pull up a photo reference here of what I was drawing, but I was drawing it from outside of the window, looking at it as opposed to from a photograph. And you can tell from the photograph, it's not exactly the same as what I drew. Plus it's being overlapped by another tree and it's got a fence behind it. You can't clearly see the apple tree. So it wasn't exactly something where I thought this will be a reference that I'll use as a photograph. It's better that I just looked at it and used it as a guide for some of the marks that I was making on, I should say with this hand. So yeah, I thought that was quite interesting and I enjoyed it. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, then please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, share this with any friends or family who you think might enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.